Hi there, it's Brahman. I'm kind of hiding in my bathroom and in my cute jammies. I just got done with some meditation. Baths, I'm all wet. <laughs> but I feel I want to share something really raw with you. Um, I spent the last three days at the Limitless Youth Academy, and today I got to uh, be a team lead, and so I have an awesome team of little kids, and and um, had this amazing partner, and <sighs> I'm very emotional. <laughs> I've been crying to see my cheeks. I'm really happy because I felt like today, I felt like today the whole day, I was my very best me. And the safety that I felt in this, in this space where I got to love people as big as I want. <laughs> as totally as I want and tell them all about it just as much as I want and to watch their little eyes just shine and watch their little scared selves open up and and they watched me open up with them and you know I've shared a little bit about this self-image thing I've been <clears throat> going through I haven't really shared the, the real bulk of it. I might hyperventilate if I did because I'm not all the way through it yet. But it goes back to a time when I was 12. And I, I'm going to decide if I'm going to tell you a little about this. Maybe not the whole thing, but it goes back to when I was 12 and there was a new boy and I wanted to be his friend. It was kind of popular and he was pretty popular, actually. He was quite popular that year when he was new, and I'm starting to fidget. <laughs> and um, I asked him to be my friend, and he told me no. And he told me that he thought I was ugly. That's part of the reason why this breakthrough, look, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm totally in my wet hair and my pajamas, and I've got my red cheeks. I think this is a big deal. This is my raw me as I was back then when I was 12. He told me I was ugly and other things and got some other people involved with mocking me. And I was trapped on the bus <laughs> at this particular moment that I'm thinking of and then they gathered around at one point and hawked loogies in my face. <laughs> and I decided at that point, I've forgiven them. I forgave them years ago. But I decided at that point, and this is what I didn't know until recently, that I was gross. And today I'm looking at all these, yesterday and today, these teenage kids, and today these little ones, and how, oh, how I want them to know the truth about themselves so that nobody can ever do anything, even to spit in their face, to get them to believe that they were gross in this thing that I've lived with. I'm 38 years old, and that happened when I was 12. And it has hurt me, even though I buried it, and I didn't realize that it was still a thing. It came up, I invited some people that I didn't realize until afterward, you know, this is the whole thing, but I invited some people who I consider the popular kids. <laughs> I'm laughing about it now because they're just real people and they're just really nice people and I want to be friends. But, um, wow, just dug it out of me and I had to deal with, with it. And I really, uh, you know, I'm in this and kind of in the throes of this breakthrough still. And so spending the day with those kids today, watching them yesterday, the older ones, Oh, it made me realize that not a single feeling that I've gone through that I felt isolated me has been something that I've been alone in ever, ever at all. 
Every last one of those kids said something that I felt. Every last one of them. And I found myself being 12 and being my genuine me as my 12 year old all day today. <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> anyway, that's really all I wanted to share. Still kind of emotional. <laughs> but I wanted to share it because while I'm in the throes of it, I, I looked in the mirror at myself. I just talk to myself and tell myself, <laughs> this might sound funny, but it was super powerful. I'm just bawling and I'm laughing while well, I'm bawling. <laughs> and I'm telling me that I love me and that I'm not gross and that I'm actually pretty not gross. I'm actually pretty wonderful. And I know that because it was reflected in the eyes of those kids who knew I love them today. Yeah. And if you're going through something like that, if you're young and you're watching this and you're going through something like that, I hope you'll believe me. You're not gross. You're wonderful and worthwhile. And somebody's waiting for you to love them just like you. And they need you to love you so that you can love them. And that's all I'm gonna leave that with you. I'll see you later.